In this video, we will collect information from uh, text fields like email address, password, first name, and we'll make sure that these fields are not empty before we can send this information to a server side to be recorded into our database. Okay, so I will go to my uh, sign up view controller, open it in assistant editor. And uh, before I can start reading information from text fields, I need to create uh, a few out outlets, uh, one for each text field. So I will um, um, go to my uh, Swift code and then click on email address uh, text field first. First, click uh, control button on my keyboard, drag and uh, drop an outlet here. And this will be an outlet for um, user email address text field created okay and I need uh, an outlet for each of this uh, field so I will continue with the second one password user password text field and then user password repeat text field one for first name user first name and one for the last name user last name text field and I think I made a typo in user first name text field okay um, and let me try just make sure this is user first name text field Connect it and let me make let's make sure there are no two outlets created for this one. I will expand uh, right side navigation panel and I will look for user first name. Yes, because I made a typo and then I have renamed it. I have two outlets. One of them needs to be deleted, otherwise, we will run into a runtime error. So this one is not it does not exist. User first name, so I'll delete it. Email address, first name, last name, repeat password, password. If uh, you create an outlet and then rename it or delete it and then create a new outlet, you will end up to have two outlets here. And then if you run your code, you'll um, run your mobile application, you will uh, run into a runtime error. So make sure these ones are all um, unique. I mean, there are no duplicates. Okay, uh, so we're done with outlets. Now we need one more, and this is for sign up button. Um, sign up button, so I'll select sign, in, sign up button. And this outlet is going to be an action, connection type action. And I will call it sign up button tapped. Okay, so when user taps on sign up button, we are going to read text value from each of these fields and then make sure this val text fields are not empty. So I will create uh, a variable or a constant because I'm not going to change uh, values from, uh, from this um, text fields anyways. So I will say let username equals user Oh, our username is user email address, right? We are using in our sign up page, we are using email address as a username. So username is equals user email address text. Let user password equals user password text field text. And then let user password repeat equals use a password repeat text field 
text. Don't forget to add text at the end of text field because we're not reading the text field itself. We're reading text that user typed in, into that text field. Let user first first name equals user first name text field text and the last one let user last name equals user last name text field text okay so we are done uh, here and now user last name text let's build it let's make sure we have no errors yes no errors now um, if one of these fields is empty we do not want to continue and um, we want to display a friendly alert message to user that all fields are required to fill in so I'll make a, a, an if statement and I'll say if user name is empty or if user password is empty or if uh, user password repeat for example is empty or user first name is empty or user last name is empty then if one of these fields is empty we do not want to continue and I'll simply return from this function but we also want to display an alert message and uh, let user know that all fields are required to fill in. So I'll quickly just create an alert message. So I'll say uh, my alert equals UI alert controller. And UI alert controller has um, no completions. Okay, so it has a title. Oh, come on. It has a title, so I'll give it, um, it can be any title, but we can say alert. And it has a message. It has a message something like all fields are required to fill in. And alerts, um, they have um, style. Preferred style. And a Preferred style comes from um, alert controller um, style and we can choose alert. Okay, so alert is um, preferred. I think I made a typo here. And this is because other completion did not work for me. Uh, anyway, so we we'll continue. Uh, each alert has uh, at least um, should have at least one button if we want to tap on it and dismiss. So I'll create um, an action button. Okay, action, and uh, it's going to be UI alert action. UI alert action has a title. Which, which is going to be OK. Uh, what well, we want user to simply tap on our OK button. UI alert action style. And that's going to be um, default. And handler, which is going to be nil. OK. And now we need to add this action to our um, alert. add action and that's going to be okay action and uh, we can uh, present we can present this action um, I mean we can we need to present this uh, view controller uh, alert to a user by doing present 
um, present view controller and that's going to be my alert animated my alert animated true completion nil okay so if i built it it's going to work 